Hi, everyone. This is Julie here. I am the wife of Mr. Ricky Sanders. Um, I just wanted to give you all a brief update. Um, Ricky is still in critical uh, condition. Um, he is at home with um, us, his family, um, but he still is in critical condition um, and is still in need of um, a very critical and urgent dual organ transplant. Um, he uh, needs um, a new heart and a new kidney. Ricky um, had been living with one kidney, uh, his right kidney, for all of his life since birth. And um, he didn't even know that until, um, you know, almost 10 years ago when, uh, you know, everything started happening. Um, and that one kidney is now failing him also. Uh, so he is in need of a dual um, organ transplant. Again, his heart and his kidney. His kidney is at uh, the working function of 35%. His heart function is at 15%. That is one five, 15%. Um, and he is a very, very high risk for sudden cardiac arrest. So he could go um, into SCA um, at any given time. And that's what's really, really scary. Um, that is why we need um, your, your prayers and your donations um, to help save my husband's life. We have a 10-year-old daughter uh, who is Down syndrome. Um, she's special needs. She's nonverbal. Um, she's a daddy's girl. She is. She's a daddy's girl. And she needs her daddy here with her. I need my husband here with me. Um, your donations will help defray um, the cost of medical expenses. Um, we're already up to over $2,300 in medical expenses. Um, I foresee that a gain in those medical expenses um, throughout the remainder of our journey of you know, for this uh, dual organ transplant. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, so your donations um, will help with that. Your donations will help with um, us having to travel to and from uh, San Antonio to Houston. Um, it will help defray um, housing costs because when we do uh, travel to Houston, we have to, you know, be able to stay um, somewhere um, in Houston, but we also will have to maintain our home here in San Antonio. Um, you know, and, and um, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, you, you got to, you know, dig into your savings. We have dug into our savings until we can no longer dig. Um, there's no more dirt for us to dig when it comes to our savings. Um, you know, you have to understand that, you know, for almost 10 years, um, we've been digging into our savings. Um, every time I have to take off from work uh, to, you know, um, uh, you know, to uh, take Ricky to his uh, doctor's appointments, I'm losing out um, on a little over $200 a day. Um, so we have been digging into our savings um, for almost 10 years, and now our savings is depleted. And like I said, there's um, there's no dirt left to dig, okay? Um, so I, you know, asking for donations is very humbling to me. You know, I'm a very uh, proudful uh, person, um, and this is my last resort. This is my last resort to ask you for help. Um, it's very hard for me to do, but um, I have to do it. You know, I have to do it. I have to do whatever I can within the legal realms, of course, um, to help save my husband's life. And if that is asking you for monetary donations, if that is asking you um, for prayer, if that is asking you for, um, you know, to share uh, my site and tell your friends, tell your family, tell your churches, um, you know, about my GoFundMe, then that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'm trying to be as transparent as I can. Um, 
and letting you know what our needs are. And again, it's very hard for me to do, um, you know, because I've always been the one to, um, you know, stand tall and, you know, take care um, of, you know, everything that, we, you know, needed to be taken care of. And so, um, I'm sorry, that was someone walking in the door. I just waved them away. Um, but, um, you know, it's hard. It's very hard. And I'm doing whatever I can. I'm, um, you know, doing podcasts. You know, I'm asking people to listen to my podcast. I get one cent, uh, you know, each time someone listens to my podcast. I'm asking people to um I'm asking people to uh, visit vocal.media to read my stories. Um, you know, I get two cents for every um, read. Um, so I'm doing other things besides, um, you know, asking for, um, you know, donations and asking for prayer and asking for shares. I'm doing what I can. Um, and so I just, we just need your help. We need your help. Um, when it comes to monetary donations, any amount will do. Any, you know, if you have a dollar, if you have a dollar, you can, um, you know, donate a dollar. Um, that helps. You know, it really does. Um, you know, your prayers. Prayer is powerful. It is so so powerful. And uh, you know, for my husband's heart um, function to be at fifteen percent, um, you know, is is. It's his will. He has the will to live. Um, and with your prayers, um, you know, supporting him, that makes him even much stronger. Um, you know, his will to live even much stronger. And then again, you sharing um, our uh, fundraiser and campaign, you sharing with your friends and your family um, and your cohorts um, in your church um, is... We need your help. We need your help. For those of you who have donated, um, you know, I just want to tell you thank you from the the depths of my heart. Um, you know, words alone just does not seem enough. Um, but just know that there is great gratitude. We, you know, me, Ricky, and my family, we have great gratitude uh, for your donations and for your prayers and for your shares, um, you know, people who have called uh, to check up on us um, and to pray with us and who cried over the phone with me. Thank you so much. I love you. I love all of you. Um, and keep those donations going, coming in. Okay. We have, um, I think, um, with Facebook and GoFundMe combined, we have almost $2,000. So um, still looking um, to get um, another 6,500, and uh, excuse me, I can't talk, another 6,500 in monetary donations uh, that again will help uh, relieve uh, the financial strain that we are going through right now um, and will be going through here in the new future. Um, God bless you all. Thank you.